Yo, what is up guys? It's Jordan here bringing us 6v6 Pokemon Battle. And as you can see, I am using my Oris team as usual because this is my single battle team. And I'm probably going to change it soon. And a heads up guys, I'm making a, currently making a new double battle team. It's probably going to be in my next road to rank. Uh, I'm not sure yet. It depends if I haven't finished. I only have one Pokemon left to do. So it might be done before road to rank. So hopefully it is. And here he gonna he's gonna jump throw out his JJ Watts. And I threw out Watch of Death, which is my Rotom. And that's his What is it? Minetric. Oh excuse me. I always forget Space Out when I'm trying to think of a Pokemon's name. So here he uh, went for the Volt Switch and basically I knew every anyone on his team did not want to take a hydro pump. Except his Conkelder, which still did a ton of damage. And here, I'm guessing he's not Gusty, as you're going to see later on in the battle. So, I really wish I went for the burn or something right there. But, I, um, I really switched to Moon Gauge because I knew he could take anything the Conkelder wanted to. Ice Punch, uh, Drain Punch, anything he wanted to throw at me. So, I just stayed in. And here, he switched to his Heatran, which I actually predicted. And... I wanted to switch back right back to Rotom, but I'm sure I don't think a Hydro Pump will one shot a Heatran, especially since I really I'm not max attack or anything like that. So I knew he was gonna set up his rocks, so I switched right back to Rotom, and here I will rest up. Or if I went for a Hydro Pump. It would have been it would have been a three KO, so maybe I should have went for Hydro Pump. He should he probably might have went for Mock Punch, and that would have been my time to rest up when he went for Mock Punch. So I'm I'm guessing I that, that might have been a mistake right there in the match. So here I'm gonna discharge, just because I knew Hydro Pump was a three KO, but I really didn't want to risk trying to hit three Hydro Pumps in a row. So I just went for the discharge, and luckily me that I got the pair of hacks. Which I don't know if I would say that's very good, especially if he has guts. But just from that ice punch, I'm guessing he does not. And here's drain punch does a ton, but I'm still certain he's probably not guts because drain punch would really did way more. And I'm wondering why he did not go for mock punch, or he was he might have been hoping for a miss, or thought he could survive another one. I'm not sure, but I would have went for mock punch there, and he's gonna go back to JJ Watts. And as you all, as you also, so, so if I actually did go for another Hydro Pump and then he went for Mock, he might not have Mock Punch, he might not have had it, so I'm not sure. So here's your, here's your Thunderbolt me. I hope he went for Volt Switch, so I could have the advantage on whatever he wanted, to, he threw out. I could, I'm just going to go throw out Crunch Wrap here, because I knew he could leave two Flamethrowers even after the Rocks. So they're just gonna barely do half, and that's with the rock, so it's not gonna kill me next turn. So here, I was managing one shot. This that's the problem with the crunch wrap. He just his attack. That's his only problem is his attack. He's just so bulky and good, but that attack always gets in the way. So he's just gonna go landers, and I wish I wasn't assault vested because I actually predicted that, and I wanted to go for hidden power. And I really didn't want anyone to take another hit, so I was, I really didn't want to switch in. Maybe I could have went for, maybe I should have went to, um, should have went to my Bisharp. So I'm just going to switch right back out. If I went to my Bisharp, he would have got the Intimidate boost from his Defiant, and I could have just... Switched right back to my Gengar. And then had the advantage. Because he would have been stuck on Earthquake. So I'm I'm just planning out all how this could have went. If, if I took another path. I'm trying to find my mistakes in this battle as well. So here I threw him out for. I wouldn't say fodder. But I really had no one else to throw. So yeah you could say I threw him out for fodder. But with that much attack. I should have probably saved him for. The Heatran, because he probably can't live with Lava Plum after the regeneration. So, he could have lived and then Earthquake. But I'm I'm kind of positive that that Heatran is like, like, Focus Slashed or something like that. So, um, he's just going to switch right back out. And I went for Swords Dance, predicting the, um, 
this sucker punch. And if he went and decided to go for anything else, then I would have really been messed up right there. So here, I'm, I want, I'm going to go for Sword Stance. And this is Mega Glade, my White Knight. And this Slowbro completely walls me. It would have completely walled me if I didn't have knockoff. So I'm just going to knock off the Slowbro and one shot at his show done. So down goes Sheldon. Look at his show. He has eyes on his show. But anyways, he does have Rocky Helmet. So he's going to go back to JJ Watts. And here might be another mistake. I probably should have stayed in and took this. Took it. But maybe he wanted to get to double intimidate on me. I don't know. He he might have switched right to Landers right after this. So, But maybe I really should have stayed in. I'm not sure. So here... He's going to Thunderbolt. I'm not going to be able to live two Thunderbolts. And he's going to KO me here. And right now, all I have to do, what I really should have did right there is throw out um, Red Knight. Because I think the only person he can take out about right now is, is his JJ Watts. Because he does have Landorus, which can just Earthquake me. He does have um his his own um Bishard, which... We'll just be in a stall war. And then he does have his Wint Stun, which can just finish me off. I can do absolutely nothing to it. So here, I'm just going to go for knockoff because I really did not want anyone else to take the Lava Plum. And what I really could have done here is went to my Gengar. So here, I'm going to throw a right White Knight, excuse me. You know what What I really should have done right there? Instead of taking that Lava Plum, I should have switched right to my White Knight. It's, I don't know, because cause if he was focused last... No, 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 he had the rocks. It was rocks, so yeah, I could have KO'd him. So that might have been a smarter play, but he was obviously going to probably switch out. So I'm not sure. So um, here he's going to go to Landorus. Then I'm going to go to predicting the Earthquake, and really, here's where I messed up. With knocking off his scarf, because he would have been stuck on Earthquake, unless he knew I had my Gengar on the back, which he would have went for something else. So I went for Focus Blast, because it was the only option I had. Because if I went for Shadow Ball, all the um, Bishar would have to do was come in and sweep the rest of my team. So if I could have got a Focus Blast off, and it could have killed the Landorus, and it could have, and if if I could have survived the Sucker Punch, and then. It, and then I could have finished off the Heatran, hopefully without missing a single Focus Blast, which is a very tall order. So here, I'm just going to come in and Zen Headbutt him, which I should have done in the first place. Why didn't I do that in the first place? So here, now, now I'm just going to take a Sucker Punch. And this all came down to the, if this Sucker Punch killed or not, and it did finish me off. So it just came down to that Sucker Punch. And I messed up again with the... I might have survived that if I didn't take three stealth rock damage. So if I stayed in, went for a Zen head, but could have survived the um circuit punch, close combat him, then close combat his heat trend, I could have probably possibly won. But you know, maybe the circuit punch still could have KO. So we really do not know. I'm really saw I saw most of my mistakes. I probably switched out and let too many Pokemon die. So if you actually if you enjoyed the battle, please like and subscribe, and I will bring you the next Road to Rank episode very very soon, and also my double battle team. Like I mentioned before, it should be in the next Road to Rank episode, and I'm gonna get the heck out of here, guys. So see you guys later, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, sorry. <laughs>